Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I am bringing you another YouTube artist collective piece. If you guys don't know what that is, I'm sure you all know by now, but it is a group of artists here on YouTube and we all collaborate on the same theme every few months. There will be more information in the description box below as well as a link to all of the other participants in this round. So the theme for this go was vintage and I'm gonna be honest, I have been pushing for a theme like this for like the past four collectives. Um, I've been pushing specifically for a 90s theme. So vintage was close enough. So even though I I don't know if I would count the 90s as vintage yet, I did, I did a 90s inspired piece because that is what I wanted to do. And I'm really glad I did. It was so much fun. Like I just... I just had a blast sitting down and looking at my favorite things from the 90s, having a blast from the past, and just, yeah, anyway, so that was the inspiration for this piece, and I'm going to go more into my process because I did all of this on Procreate, and I did it in a way that I haven't done before, um, and it was super experimental, but before I get into all that, I do want to quickly say this piece is available on my Etsy shop. I'm super proud of it and the way that it turned out, and I think it makes a really cute print. So I threw it up on my Etsy. I'm not sure how long it'll be there, but if you would like to grab a print for yourself, go check that out. There unfortunately is not an original piece because this is digital, um, but I'm still super, super happy with how the prints came out. So yeah. So like I mentioned, this collective theme is vintage and a lot of the other artists in the collective did like really really cool vintagey things and I'm super excited to watch all of their videos as well um, but I knew right from the get-go I was like vintage boom 90s done I'm doing it and is oh, I like I keep saying it was so fun but it was just really so fun um, so I knew right from the beginning that I wanted to do more of a scene. I didn't want to just draw like a 90s girl uh, because one of my big goals this year is to draw like more scenes and more illustrations that tell a story. Not just like a character illustration, but a character interacting with their environment in some way that like tells a story or conveys an emotion or something like that. So in the beginning, you could see I did a whole bunch of uh, sketching in this. Um, I originally had the idea of drawing like a girl in her bedroom on her bed. And because of time constraints, that was getting to be just too much. And I knew I wouldn't have time for it. So I simplified the idea while still keeping in mind that I wanted to draw a scene. So instead, I had this idea of this girl like laying down in her bedroom on her floor, surrounded by the things that she loves and playing some good old games. Boy Advance. And I just, I had that like idea in my mind and I just had so much fun like picking out all the little details that I would add and like surrounding her with different 90s things um, like Tamagotchis, uh, a flip phone, which I think is actually more like early 2000s than 90s, but whatevs. Um, and just like some like 90s snacks, like some chips and Capri Sun. I cannot think of a more 90s snack than Capri Sun. Um, but a question I wanted to ask you guys, if you are from the 90s or remember the 90s, what is your favorite thing about the 90s? Uh, my favorite thing has definitely got to be the video games and the Tamagotchis. Like some of my all time favorite games came out from the 90s. Um, so yeah, what are your favorite things? Also, uh, what game do you think she's playing? Um, I definitely have an idea of what I think she's playing because it was one of my favorite games, but I wanna know what do you think she is playing on this awesome Game Boy Advance? process goes for this piece. Like I said, I did it all in Procreate with my iPad. Um, I wanted to keep it relatively simple because I am doing something new. I didn't want to 
overwhelm myself. And usually when I do digital art, I do more of a digital painting style. And that would have been just too much for me. So I did a relatively simple style with some line art, uh, simple shading, simple highlights. And I think it actually worked out in my favor for this piece because I think it looks really nice. And I'm very pleasantly surprised because like I said, I haven't done something like this before and it could have not turned out nice, but I'm very happy with the results. So what I did was I sketched it out on my iPad, which you could see in the beginning of this video. Um, and from there, I went in and added some line work. I kept the line work also simple. I didn't want it to be too distracting. From there, I added some flat colors and I did choose a limited color palette for this piece as well. I figured if I chose a limited color palette, it would help to not make the scene too cluttered or too distracting. So I really only kept two four colors, which were the blue, pink, yellow, and purple. And I also think that really worked out in my favor. So I added those flat colors and from there I created a new file or new layer, sorry, set it to multiply and chose a vibrant purple. And then I added all of the shadows with that vibrant purple color. And when you see me adding this purple, it looks really extreme right now. But basically what I'm doing is just making sure that it's really bold so I can see where all of my lines are going. And then I will change the opacity later so it's not as harsh. So I did that for the girl herself, the figure, all of the items around her and then on a separate layer I also did it uh, for like a drop shadow or the shadow that she and the objects are casting on the ground and I did this because I didn't know how intense I would want that shadow to be in comparison to the shadows like on her face or on her clothes so I just kept those separate in my little layer area <laughs> From there, I went and I added some highlights using the same method, except I think the layer style was set to screen instead of multiply, because when you do multiply, it makes everything darker. And then if you do something like screen or overlay, it makes everything lighter. And those are just the different layer styles within Procreate. Side note, if you guys would like to see like how I use Procreate in my process like more in depth. I could definitely make a video on that. So just let me know if that's something you guys would like to see. Anyway, from there, I just went and added some highlights and I played around with this for a little while, deciding like where I wanted to place them and how intense I wanted the highlights to be. I did use like a light yellow color, which I think contrasted really nicely with the purple. I like using purple for shadows and like yellow for highlights. It doesn't do a whole lot of depth. And if I wanted it to make it look more like three dimensional, I would add more colors. But for something really simple like this, I think it looks really nice. Um, and then from there, I was almost done and the, the whole piece was missing something. And I was just like playing around with the different brush presets that are already loaded into Procreate. And I found this like glowy brush. And so I just added a little bit of glow to the Game Boy and to her face to make it look like light is actually coming off of the, the Game Boy and reflecting off her face. And I was just so happy. I was like, oh my gosh, that looks awesome. So <laughs> I was very happy that I found that brush because it was totally just like a, huh, I wonder if this will look cool. And it ended up like, pulling the whole piece together and making the whole thing worth it for me. So that was my process uh, for this piece and that's pretty much it. And from there, I just exported it and here we go. I know I keep saying this, but I'm just so happy with this piece. I think it genuinely looks like a girl is just sitting in her bedroom playing a game. And I'm just, I'm proud of myself for doing something that wasn't like a portrait of a girl, which is what I always fall back on. And I'm proud of myself for doing something that's a bit uncomfortable, something that I wasn't sure if it would look good. And I just, I just, you know, I just sent it, dude. And I just did it. And, <laughs> and I like it. And I kind of like want to keep that feeling throughout the whole year, just like doing things seeing if it'll look good, if it doesn't, cool, if it does, cool, and just experimenting more and doing more different things. Like, I drew a Tamagotchi. I've never drawn a Tamagotchi before, and I want to do more stuff like that, basically, <laughs> in a very long-winded way. That's kind of what I wanted to, to get at. <laughs> but 
yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, like I mentioned before, go check out all of the other artists in the Artist Collective. Their pieces are always incredible and amazing. And again, I am so thankful to be part of this awesome group. If you have participated in the collective, please show me what you've done. That is my favorite part of these collective upload days is seeing what everyone else draws. So if you upload to social media, tag me in those social media posts, post it to our Facebook page, all of the things. If you did something vintage, I want to see it. Also, like I mentioned before, this piece is available on Etsy. I'm very proud of all the work I've been putting into my Etsy shop, so I'd be very appreciative if you guys did check it out. And yeah, uh, I'm done. That's pretty much all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me draw this awesome, nostalgic 90s piece. Um, yeah, let me know what your favorite thing from the 90s was. Like I said, mine was Tamagotchis and video games and probably Capri Sun. Tastes like childhood. <laughs> anyway, I will see you guys all in the next video. Have an amazing night. I love you all. And yeah, that's it. Bye.